We are here tonight because we know that we cannot, we know that we cannot ease the pain of those families who have lost someone. We also know that we want to do something. And so what we do tonight by this amazing crowd is to say to them that we love you, we care very, very deeply about you, and we will do everything that we can, everything that we can to tell you that we care. My wife, Fran, and I, 26 years ago today, lost our daughter. We're calling Mexican immigrants rapists and criminals. Um, I, I don't know, like, members of the press, what the f***? Hold on a second. You know, I, 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 it's, it's, these, um, it's these questions that you know the answers to. I mean, connect the dots about what he's been doing in this country. Um, he's not tolerating racism. He is promoting racism. He's not tolerating violence. He's inciting racism and violence in this country. In a nation where you have many, many thousands of people who are mentally unstable, that when you talk about invasions and hordes of people, and when you talk about Mexicans as criminals and rapists and the country under siege, you have unstable people who are going to see that as a sign that they have got to take up arms and do the horrific things that we just saw in El Paso. We've had a rise in hate crimes every single one of the last three years during an administration where you have a president who's called Mexicans rapists and criminals. He's encouraging his supporters and his supporters are listening to that encouragement. He is a racist and he stokes racism in this country and it does not just offend our sensibilities, it, it fundamentally changes the character of this country and it leads to violence. We've got to acknowledge the hatred, the open racism that we're seeing. There's an environment of it in the United States. Uh, we see it on Fox News, we see it on the internet, but we also see it from our commander in chief and he is encouraging this he doesn't just tolerate it he encourages it hate has no place in our country calling mexican immigrants rapists and criminals warning of an invasion at our border um, seeking to ban all people of, of one religion folks are responding to this it doesn't just offend us it encourages the kind of violence that we're seeing including in my hometown of el paso yesterday when you have language that is racist that is virulently anti-immigrant there are mentally unstable people in this country who see that as a sign to do ter terrible, terrible things. So I think the president has got to stop that racism, racism and that xenophobia immediately. The shooter in El Paso posted a manifesto online consumed by racist hate. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. One of your 2020 rivals, uh, Congressman Beto O'Rourke, told me this morning that he believes President Trump is a white supremacist um, or a white nationalist. Do you agree? I do. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. When he says after Charlottesville that Klansmen and white supremacists and neo-Nazis are very fine people, uh, the commander in chief is sending a very public signal to the rest of this country about what is permissible and in fact even what he encourages to happen. All of the evidence out there uh, suggests that we have a president who is a racist, who is a xenophobe, uh, who appeals and is trying to appeal to white nationalism. You know, it breaks my heart to have to say uh, that this is the person we have who is president of the United States.